Out to Rutland, a survivor of an explosion sharing her story. The deadly accident made international headlines and now she's asking people everywhere to roll up their sleeves and give blood to save and improve lives like hers. Jack Thurston spoke with her today. All that I could do was desperately fight to stay alive. Stephanie Schaefer's been fighting for much of the past three years. Doctor, doctor. She's the Vermont dancer who lost her legs in an explosion on a tour boat while vacationing in the Bahamas in 2018. We then watched her take some of her first steps on her new prosthetics at Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital in Massachusetts. But soon after, she'd discover her fight was far from over. I had a massive open wound on my left leg. An infection and complications would mean more surgeries. She's endured over 40 since that explosion. Finally, she tells us, she's now back to good health. It's the end of the road, yeah. Through the ups and downs of her recovery, a vital constant, Schaefer says, was the availability of blood for transfusions. We just assume that if we need it, it'll be there, but it, it takes donations, so it's something to think about for sure. The Red Cross right now is facing a, a true emergency. The American Red Cross hopes by Stephanie sharing her story, it can start to turn around a blood shortfall. It would like to have a five-day supply for hospital partners. In recent weeks, we're at a half-day supply, so it is super critical. Stephanie's hometown of Rutland now announcing the return of a four-day blood drive in December called the Gift of Life Marathon as one way to help. Today's story isn't about just Rutland. It's about every community in the country. Um, the blood supply is, is desperately low, and so whether people donate here in Rutland at the Gift of Life Marathon or tomorrow in Burlington or two days from now in Boston, it's all good. It, it's all needed and it's all important. As for what's next for Stephanie Schaefer, early next year she'll publish her own book about finding your way through adversity. In Rutland, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.